In this Power World video, I bring you 15 plus advanced tips and tricks you might not know yet. So let's not hang about, let's go. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps me out uh, with YouTube's dodgy algorithm and it's much appreciated on my behalf. Also, I'm giving away a couple copies of this game so to win one for yourself or even a friend who isn't playing yet, simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on. Winners will be announced in a couple of days. Good luck. Okay, so let's go guys and let's not hang about. Did you know that sorting items from your inventory or the inventory of any kind will reset the timers on things like food and whatnot? Give it a try next time you go to your cooler or fridge or even food box. Simply press that sorting tab and watch that timer reset. Awesome. On the subject of timers, cakes are used for breeding, the most important part, but also they have a sell by date, but storing them in a breeding pen box eliminates this issue no more sell by date so go store them there guys and never have to worry about them going off staying on the subject of food are you noticing your base working powers are nine times out of ten sick got fractures sprains depressed and so forth this is because of their sand meter which you really need to keep on top of a simple way of doing this is by keeping their bellies full with that sand restoring food now most players just fill food boxes with berries but these do nothing for that sand bar. But if you cook them, them same berries they actually start to make a difference. But foods like honey, baked berries, jam filled bun are real easy to make and do all those great things for your pal Sam. Now obviously upon you building up and being able to craft some of the better things in regards to cooking, you should definitely be doing this for the sanity of your pals. You want hard working base pals, make sure their bellies are filled with those sand restoring foods. Also guys, a few hot springs won't go amiss either. Again, staying on the subject of food, pals eat from left to right in that food box. Did you know that? So if your berries are in that far left spot, they will eat these first before they move on to that next slot. So if you've got food within your feed box, which has the benefit of restoring that sand, if it isn't in that first spot and berries are, they are always gonna eat those berries first. So definitely make sure you order them right in regards to food packing, sand against foods that ain't. Stuff like honey doesn't go off either, so you can always separate it and fill up those slots. Another important point is, and a little bit of knowledge, pals upon harvesting your crops, i.e. berries, lettuce, tomatoes and wheat, will first look to put these in said feed box. So if you fill up every slot in your feed box, your pals will then start to store them in the cooler or fridge unless said food is already in that feed box and they can stack it up there. So keep that in mind too. Okay, so we're finally moving on from food. Did you know that if you have a grapple hook, this alone eliminates issues you might be having being over encumbered, meaning you cannot move and wanted to move things across your base. I can't tell you how many times I've suffered trying to move metal from one place to the other, having to drop it then pick it back up and repeat this across my base. While with a grapple hook, your suffering is no more as you can simply grapple to where you want to be to place said items in that perfect order like you like to do. Also, if you don't have the best grapple hook and don't like the slow cooldown uh, on the earlier ones, you can simply unequip it and re-equip it and this will reset the cooldown. Or guys, you could just create two and swap them in and out to reset that cooldown. Nice little trick, but definitely the best thing in regards to moving across that base when you are over encumbered. Sticking to the subject of transporting and storing things, I ain't sure if you guys are like me, but like things in order where you know where they are. The only issue I have is going to separate storage boxes and going through items one by one. It gets tedious trying to store these, trying to pick them out of your inventory and put them into other inventories. This alone can take quite a while, but did you know there's actually a quick stack button and a single press of this button what it does is it takes all the items from your inventory and stacks them in said container if that same item is in said container so if you have an inventory full of stone wood metal or coal whatever but you also have many other pieces of junk inside of here like let's say berries wheat seeds 
but you want to store and transport all your equipment, your building equipment into a said container without going through them one by one, go to container, which has the wood, the metal and your building materials and simply press that quick stack button and it will remove all those building materials into said container without you having to go through things one by one. Great tip. Okay, so let's move on. So did you know if your power is incapacitated, not out or whatever, you have to put them in that power box for 10 minutes for them to basically wake back up? Well guys, there's three simple tricks you can use and abuse that completely resets any incapacitated PAL. Okay, so the first method, simple. Drop your PAL out of your party. You will see it on the floor within that sphere. You then need to fill that party spot up with another pal so your party is full. Then simply pick up your pal you just dropped on the floor. You will see that the pal has gone into your pal box and is now completely fine and ready to roll again. Another way of doing this is having a view cage. Simply place said pal in that viewing cage. Upon you taking him back out, he is healed. As simple as that. Also guys, another way, if it's night time, have your pal in your party, you simply go to sleep. When you wake back up, your pal should be fully recovered. Simple. Okay, so did you know you can catch humans in this game? I mean, you can go and catch vendors too. If you ever see a vendor who has decent stock that you like, you can always catch him and take him back to your base and use said vendor from your base whenever you want. Meaning you don't have to go back to where they are located in the open world. This works with the black market here, all other PAL merchants and all other vendors across the game. So go ahead and do the usual, take their health down and simply chuck a decent sphere at them. If you catch them, you have them for good. The black market here is a little harder hitting though and will take a little bit of a fight from you, bear that in mind. But once you've caught any vendor, take them back to your place, let them run free, go to them, talk to them, and from there you can do the usual buy and sell. I have myself a viewing cage to keep them locked up in, but that's just me, I'm a weirdo. Also keep in mind with the PAL vendors like the Black Marketeer and the PAL Merchant, uh, these guys you can actually rotate their PAL stock from your base. So simply put them in your PAL box, take them back out, and their stock will have refreshed, it will have rotated, meaning you can do this over and over until you find that perfect PAL you are looking for. So did you guys know you can actually rotate dungeon bosses by simply running away from the area then running back? This makes for a useful tip if you are looking to catch a certain alpha pal. This technique also works with pals in the open world too. For instance, this spot in the top right corner of the map is home to some of the best pals in this game. By simply doing a full circle of the map and you notice that the pals go out around the distance, when you go back in, Said powers will have rotated and 85% of the time would have rotated to a different kind of power altogether. So you can keep doing this over and over guys until you find the certain power you are looking for. Another great tip if you are seeking out to fight an open world boss single handedly, if you have the option of a second or third base and haven't used said power box yet, build a temp base as close to that world boss as you can. Then you just want to kite that world boss over, quite simple, shoot him, he will come towards you and your base. Once the world boss is near, or even prior to you starting the kite, simply unleash your base powers on said world boss for a much better chance in fighting him. So have your best OP uh, base powers waiting for you, make sure they're in that base working spot. And then once the world boss comes over guys, they will all unleash heck up on him. A simple way to fight a world boss if you're struggling and you're trying to farm a said thing. Simple. Okay, so lastly guys, a bug fix which many people probably haven't even experienced yet. But as long as you know what to do when it occurs, you are good. So I got kicked from the game in the middle of my base being raided. When I got back into my game, all my pals were stuttering about the place. Nothing I was doing was stopping them. As you can see their name titles or badges were flashing red like they were stuck in that combat mode. None were doing jobs and it was just doing my nut in. Now to resolve this guys, if it ever happens to you, you need to kite a wild pal into your base. It doesn't matter what kind of pal it is, the lowest level pal, even better. Kite them into your base. In doing this, uh, your pals will start fighting and once they take this pal out, this wild pal out, it resolves this weird bug which only seems to happen when you are kicked mid-raid. So yes guys, I'm hoping someone watching this, it helps them out. 
And there we have it guys, 15 plus advanced tips and tricks you probably didn't know about, but now you do. If you made it to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. But guys, if you did enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.